Hitman, a game that I'm sure nobody ever thought I would make YouTube videos about. Over the course of this video, you will realize I am not quite as stealthy of a Hitman as others are. So let's get right into the video. My mission today is to assassinate two targets, Silvio Caruso and Francesca DeSantis. Oh, and also, just a little bonus, I get to destroy a virus. So I started out by stealing a random guy's disguise and shooting two people down so they wouldn't know what I did. And it still said my crime was noticed, so I wasn't sure if, like, one of the civilians saw. So I snapped this guy's neck to make sure that he couldn't tell anyone I existed. And then I looked back and realized that stupid biker was running around like a crazy person. If I was him, I would have just stayed down until I had walked away and told someone later. But he's stupid, what can I say? So I told the butler that I had flowers for Mr. Silvio Caruso, and he let me go right down to the grave where I'm supposed to put them. I was on my way to the grave when I noticed how big this property is. I mean, there's a whole castle next to it. How much money do you have to have to buy this place? That's a question for someone else to answer, because I don't have more than 200 bucks to spare. I saw Silvio arguing with his guards to leave him alone at his mother's grave, so I took this as the perfect opportunity to strike. The moment his guards walked away, I made my way down. And they were a little suspicious, but because this is Hitman and the AI is stupid, they did not think anything of it. So I went down to Silvio and came up right behind him and did the most unexpected thing. I choked him out and then I snapped his neck. So I dragged him into a barrel I saw next to the grave, and now he gets to rest next to his mother. So that's great for him. I saw two guards, and I knew I needed to get a disguise, so my plan was to just shoot them in the skull, which didn't end up going very well. I shot him right in the face, and the other guard started running away trying to find help, which is not a very guard-like thing to do. So I grabbed the disguise and then walked away thinking I had gotten away, but then this guy starts shooting me. So I started running and tried to go through this door, but it was locked. And this chef guy starts following me, even though he doesn't realize I'm armed. And he starts running and then he blocks me and then I realize there was a crate, so I hop in. I wait a couple minutes and come back out. When I come back out, I look for someone else to disguise as, because I'm compromised. This guy seemed like a perfect target, so I choked him out and unnecessarily snapped his neck so that no one could know what I looked like, and I stole his disguise and made my way to the laboratory. I found a parking garage that I'm pretty sure was home to the laboratory, so I shot this guard in the head, which served as a good distraction against these guards, and they ran over, so I tried to look cool, but they ended up realizing it was me, so I just shot them down, which might have drawn attention, but I was so lucky that it didn't draw any attention. So I picked up a disguise, a weapon, and a key card, and I made my way down into the laboratory, where I made my first real big mistake of this video. I saw someone who could compromise me, so I thought if I killed all three people there, I could get away easily. But I ended up missing this doctor, and he went and told all his doctor friends that I'm a bad guy. So I left the facility as fast as I could, and I looked for a new disguise that wasn't compromised. I found a bodyguard, and I saw that no one was looking, so I subdued him, and then I took his disguise. I didn't bother hiding him because this is Hitman and the AI is completely stupid. So I ran back, got in, and realized that bodyguards aren't allowed down there. So I looked around for a new disguise, and I saw this guy, so I shot him. And I went and took his disguise which allowed me to go and tamper with all the settings on their virus they're making. 
I threw a coin to distract the two doctors currently at the virus station, which seemed to work very well as a distraction. I walked past them, and I tampered with the settings on the virus so that it had ventilation inside. Then, I got an easy entrance into this facility, which usually requires a keycard, even though I made two people suspicious of me while I did it. And then that lady literally pointed me out, and I'll let you guys watch the chaos unfold. So after all that, I was still alive somehow, so I went back into the mansion and realized Francesco was now underground. So I made my way back down underground for the third time, but didn't forget to take a disguise beforehand. And when I got underground, I was surprised at what I saw. I wasn't actually that surprised, but she was inside a building, so I didn't have a good shot of her. So I waited for a little while with my gun in hand so that I could quickly assassinate her and get away, and she eventually came out. So I braced myself for a lot of panic, and when she was still, I shot her in the head and made my way out like nothing happened. I had a great escape route because I shot her right next to the entrance to the laboratory so I could leave fast. And with that, my dumb Hitman experience has been concluded. If you guys enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, and I will make more content like this. See you in the next video. Bye.